Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday. Welcome. Kind of crappy here in New York. Hopefully, it's nice where you are. How's everybody doing? Good to see you. Good to see you, Norman, Lou, Tim. Good to see you, Deborah, Josh. Good morning. Welcome back, uh, J Greg. Everyone, hopefully, had a great weekend. Everybody here at Cyber Group and also on YouTube, Facebook Live. Looks like another exciting week. We are a little bit more than one week away from the election. It is getting hot and heavy. Market is down 300 points right now on a Monday. Not shocking, you know, coming back over the weekend. But there, um, but last week was a pretty good week. We had a couple of really good stocks that did make some moves. And also, we are going to talk about some of the things that are moving this morning. We got one nice mover right now, LLIT. Stocks up about only about 86%. Uh, doing pretty well. But the big news I think was that probably everyone is hearing about is Dunkin' Donuts. All right, Dunkin' Donuts looks like uh, DK, is it DNKN? Uh, rumor of uh, looks like they're going to be a little bit of a buyout right here. Stock did really good during the you know pandemic. You could see it, stock was down 40, stock is about 100. I'm actually kind of shocked that someone would buy Dunkin' Donuts. I thought they're all franchise stuff like that. I even, I even heard of the company. No, it's funny part. I didn't even heard of the company who's actually buying them out, which is pretty cool. Because there's these big conglomerates. There's these conglomerates you probably even never knew about. You would think like Don Dunkin' Donuts is buying someone out. You would never knew like this other company's buying out. Who the hell are they? But listen, that's how big Wall Street is. And that's why we are in this business. All right. But I'm just very happy for everyone at Dunkin' Donuts, um, the employees, you know, that's capitalism at their best. OK, you know what you look at, you look at uh, working per hour and you work hard and this is that. One thing I always tell everybody uh, when you work at these companies, you get bought out and, you know, you might not like the CEOs making this much money and that much money. You know what? But if the company, if you work hard at a company and you do well for the company, and the company does well, you will be rewarded. And one of the great rewards are is having uh, a, own a piece of share of the company. And that's what the stock's all about. Hey, look at all those people that work at Apple. Look at all those people that work at at uh, at Amazon. You know what? They look at the, you know they're doing pretty well, aren't they? You know, so it's nice to work for those companies. You know, and it's also it's such a benefit to get that profit share of that company. So congratulations, to everyone at Dunkin' Donuts. You guys deserve it. Making that coffee, waking up early. I still remember the Dunkin' Donuts man. Got to make the donuts. Remember that commercial? That was like uh, I was the guy with the beard. And actually, I have a sad story. He died, but uh, he was like the face of the brand of Dunkin' Donuts. But anyway, uh, let's talk about some of the good things. Um, oh, that's right. And they also own Baskin Robbins. I almost forgot to mention that, Michael. Thank you very much. Yes, which I think. Baskin Robbins is has probably the best ice cream cakes, birthday cakes. Love the cake, love the ice cream. Pr pr uh, Praloons and cream, my favorite. All right, let's go let's see if we can make money now. Listen, we have a lot of new members that start on a Monday here at Cyber Tree University. Let me address something very important. If you are new here to Cyber Tree University, okay, and you're in our cyber group room. I just want to be very clear. Do not, and I'm going to repeat this one more time. Do not buy anything that we trade in the room. You are not qualified to buy anything in the room. That's not a bad thing. You are just doing doing a trial of being here to see if other people make money doing it. It's not about me. It's not about everyone talking about the thousands and thousands of dollars they're making. And like, wow, you my God, this is so easy. This is great. Now, listen, you are there because if this is something that you want to do, then we need to train you and then and, and show you how to do it the right way. But all you're doing right now is you're in this room to look, listen, and learn. That's it. I know a lot of you have been bouncing around through different trading groups and, you know, you see these great uh, YouTube videos and commercials this and that, and you don't know who to trust. This is how you trust. You trust the people that are, that are trading there now, and if they could do it, then you could do it. But do not buy anything because you don't know what level three is. You don't know what level four is. You don't know what market maker traps are. You know what head fakes are. You don't know how they do reverse psychology on you. Because remember, we are market makers. That's what we do. All right. So let me just get that out of clear because, you know, I had somebody uh, that did a trial on Friday who came in my room, okay, started out and, and jumped in one of these stocks that we traded and then all of a sudden doesn't know what's going on and wants to know why the stock is now going down. And we say it all the time, do not buy anything in that room because you are just there to watch, all right? So let me just get that cleared. Let's get back to trading, all right?
So there were a couple of stocks on Friday. I do want to come up out and talk a little bit about it. First of all, Snapchat has been just on fire. Um, Snapchat, you could see, has been doing great. Stock had that good earnings announcement. Stock's been really strong. It's got a lot of big upgrades. Pinterest, another one. Stock is just doing great. Um, I actually, uh, we, we've been at Pinterest since 35. So Pinterest has been doing great right there. And by the way, these have, not only have they been good, um, you know, now they, they haven't even really were day trades. They were actually swing trades, okay? Now remember, we, we people always ask, this is a day trading room, is you a swing trade, are you options? Listen, you want to be a good swing trader or an investor, you damn well better learn how to day trade first because it's what happens over the course of the day which trickles into a swing trade. So that's one of the great things. By the way, these all got big upgrades. I think Pinterest got upgraded by Morgan Stanley and some other company is 60 bucks. So uh, we're doing great on the stock around 35. Um, let's go talk about some other stocks that also did move before we go through the watch list. So we had re some really good pre-market trades. Uh, personally, I told you Friday, I'm not really a fan of. Friday, um, you know, other than those, those couple of stocks, you had these couple of stocks in pre-market that did pretty well. Uh, let me change the chart right here so you guys could see what happened here. So this one had a really good pre-market. It gapped up pretty nicely, and then it kind of crapped out. And then um, the ZDGE, that was another one that we traded, you know, had a nice big uptrend, 220 to 320. That was it. But Fridays, I, I, I said on Fridays, Friday, last Friday was one of those, you know, it's the third week of Friday. You have a lot of some options expire. You know, a lot of chaos going on. So I'm not really a fan of trading on Fridays. I usually tell everyone, if you made your money on Friday morning, you should take the rest of the day off. Now let's go back and check what's going on this morning because there are a couple of good things that are moving this morning. I know some of you guys are already trading a couple of stocks and we're going to check them out. We're going to start off with the, uh, so we know about Duncan, right? You know about Duncan, you could see that big gap up, but listen, it's not going anywhere. Now, it's not, I don't know if they officially count as a buyout yet with a specific number, but uh, sometimes you do get these stocks that will trickle uh, up a little down a little bit, but it is expensive, big spread. You got to be careful of that. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how it opens up, but sometimes they do move. Another stock that I want to keep an eye on, DSS. Okay. So this one right now is about 30, 38%. Oh, shoot. She crapped out already. You know what? She was up pretty nicely. I kind of liked it. This is why we don't trade from nine to about nine thirty because you get these you get these reversals right now. But she did look pretty good. She was on my A list. I'm gonna throw on my B list. Okay, my wedding list. Remember the wedding list? I'm gonna like I like that, I like that little that little thing. It's pretty cool. You got the A the A list and the B list. Of who you want to invite to a wedding? Uh, right now, I'm gonna throw this one on the B list because I don't think I'm gonna get a good gift out of this one. So I'm gonna crap that one out. J M I uh, A. There's another one that's moving pretty nicely this morning. She's been doing really well for us. She's actually becoming a very good day tra a swing trade. You could see we're from eight to about 17. We saw this stock uh, back in August. It went from eight to almost 24. She is a little volatile though. I mean, for some of you here, cyber, cyber traders, you've been here, we've been trading this while, you know how the stock trades. Hopefully you took very, very good notes on exactly what, how to trade a stock like this. Um, to be very, because um, it does get a volatile. I, I probably would give it more of a category three than anything. This is not your typical level one stock. So we got the Duncan, the uh, DSS, the JMI. Okay, a couple of other stocks that are on, that are on, the, on the B list. So we have LLIT. You know, she's up huge this morning. She's up about uh, almost 75%. You, a lot of you remember the stock we traded in January. It was a phenomenal short squeeze. Great short squeeze. Went from four to 26. We traded almost every single day. I just want to be a little careful on it because she's not really picking a direction right now. But she, we, we traded it and we know how she trades and we know she could take off. Another stock that's going on the B list, SND. I don't know what happened. 1.3 million shares. She's up a little bit, 153. She's testing some October highs right there. This looks like more of a high frequency trade type of stock. I'm looking at level three right there. There are a lot of big orders everywhere. 30,000, oh man, 10,000. Uh, big, big iceberg orders out there. But she's about kind of flatline in pre-market. But we know this. Sometimes these stocks do move when the market opens up. Grill, another stock that's uh, 
um, has a nice little uptrend up 42%. Stock's been a little bit all over the place. Stock's been a little bit of an IPO. Uh, we'll see how this stock uh, is gapped up a little bit, but she's kind of trending down again in pre-market. Once again, not a big fan of it. All right, throw that on the uh, B list. I might have to make a C list too. <laughs> I might have to make a C list. Another stock that looks a little bit better, not expensive. You know, YVR, she kind of gapped up at 8 o'clock this morning. Some of you did catch on that little wave right there. Buck 70 to 230. Now she's hovering right around 210. So it looks like uh, nice little support levels right there. Nice and tradable, good spread, good tier sizes. You know, this is a, this is something that, you know, is good for a beginner. And if you are an advanced trader here, you could trade several thousand shares. How do we know that? Look over there in level three, you could see you got some big blocks. So for the ones out there that trade five, 10, 20,000 shares, doesn't look like you have a problem getting in it. If you're a beginner, you want to trade 100, 300, you know, with a very tight spread, looks pretty decent. Those are good for people that are new beginners and don't know what it's like to be in a stock that moves. All right. But, uh... Patrick says, I like the IMMU. Is that one moving too? IMMU is not coming up on my system. Is he someone on the other one? I don't know what happened. It's not coming up on my system. I thought that is a stock. I don't know what happened there. FLAV. Yeah, none of those are coming up. All right. So um, there's, there's another stock that also came up on my list. But once again, she's a penny stock. How do I know it's a penny stock? There's no tier sizes on level three. So right there, that, that kind of disqualifies it. Gapped up pretty big, took a big hit. Look at this stock. It was a $6.5 million stock, what, a year ago, right? What does that really mean? It was never a $6.5 million. They did reverse stock split, a reverse stock split, a reverse stock split, a reverse stock split. They do it like a 100 to 1 split, 100 to 1 reverse split, 101 to first reverse split. And it just keeps, it's just basically calculating it that way. So stock's not looking too well right there. All right, so what time we got? We got about 9.15. Market's opening up in 15 minutes. Remember, if you're new here to Cyber Trade University and you're going you're gonna to be in the trading room, you look, listen, and learn. Do not buy anything. Watch how the traders work together. And most importantly, watch how don't tell them what to do. They know how to think for themselves. And that's what you need to learn here. If you're here in, um, and also Cyber Traders tomorrow, um, we're going to do phase three with me. So hopefully a lot of you new beginner, uh, new students here, have caught up to phase one and phase two, took those lessons, watch those recordings, or if you missed any of them, and get ready for class for me. If you're here on YouTube Live, if you ever want to come and join us, just click on the bottom, like us, join us. And uh, once again, $9 trial, get in the trading room. In the meantime, we'll be back here at 2.30. And then for everyone here in the Cyber Group room, as you know, we'll start commentating at exactly 9.35. Let the market, let all these crazy wackos do what they got to do in the first five minutes. Let all that chaos get through, and then we'll go from there. And let's see how the market works out. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. Be safe.